Hey there, it's Pastor T with another Daily Psalmanac, where I hope to help you grow in the practice of prayer through a deepening relationship with the prayer book of the Bible, the Psalms. And today we are reading, reflecting upon, and praying back to the Lord, Psalm 140. I invite you to follow along in your own Bible at home, or to listen as I read. Deliver me, O Lord, from evil men. Preserve me from violent men, who plan evil things in their heart and stir up wars continually. They make their tongue sharp as a serpent's, and under their lips is the venom of asps. Guard me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from violent men who have planned to trip up my feet. The arrogant have hidden a trap for me, and with cords they have spread a net. Beside the way they have set snares for me. I say to the Lord, You are my God. Give ear to the voice of my pleas for mercy, O Lord. O Yahweh, my Lord, the strength of my salvation, you have covered my head in the day of battle. Grant not, O Lord, the desires of the wicked, do not further their evil plot, or they will be exalted. As for the head of those who surround me, let the mischief of their lips overwhelm them. Let burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into fire, into miry pits, no more to rise. Let not the slanderer be established in the land. Let evil hunt down the violent man speedily. I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted and will execute justice for the needy. Surely the righteous shall give thanks to your name. The upright shall dwell in your presence. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We've had occasion throughout these Psalmon Acts to uh, mention Dietrich Bonhoeffer's comment that the Psalms might be understood and organized according to the petitions of the Lord's Prayer. So there's traditionally seven petitions in the Lord's Prayer, starting with, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, etc., in that respect, Psalm 140 is very much a seventh petition kind of prayer. Deliver us from evil. Deliver us from evil. It's kind of, if you will, a uh, spiritual warfare psalm as we recognize that there are constantly foes that are coming after us. Deliver me from evil men. Preserve me from violent man, men who plan evil things in their heart and stir up wars continually. They make their tongue sharp as a serpent's. To me, that's an indication that we're not just talking about mere opposition from men. We're talking about a battle that is taking place in the spiritual realms as they have their tongue sharp as a serpent, reminiscent of the serpent who overwhelmed Adam and Eve in the garden. So he continues to seek out the people of God and the devil and his angels are trying to undermine us, trying to, to take away our faith, to cause us to stumble, to separate us from our Savior. But Psalm 140 is a prayer against that kind of spiritual warfare, as instead we petition for the Lord to push back those foes, to make sure that those who would be attacking us, for those who would encircle the people of God, that he would provide a defense against us, and that he would not allow their plans to be furthered or to be advanced. Instead, we pray, O Lord, my Lord, the strength of my salvation, you have covered my head in the day of battle. What encouragement, what comfort to know that as we go out and we are fighting this invisible battle, as there are foes around us that we can't even see, that we know that the Lord has covered our head. You think of that great passage, the uh, armor of God passage in Ephesians chapter 6, where we have as a helmet, the helmet of salvation. Because God is your Savior, because His Holy Spirit lives within you, because the blood of Jesus covers you, your head is covered by that salvation. You know that uh, no, no matter how the, the angels of the evil one would come after you, you have the angels of God on your side that are protecting you, that are providing for you, that are, are making straight your way. You need not fear as you go about the world wondering, well, am I going to be taken down by the evil one? Is he going to be able to, to uh, lead me astray from the Lord? Instead, we pray Psalm 140. We ask that God, as we say in the Lord's petition, in the Lord's prayer, deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, from evil men and preserve me from violent men. As indeed you have in your son Jesus, as you do through the power of your spirit, as you will, as we walk forward in faith, trusting in the Lord, who is the one who has clothed us with the garments of salvation, who has covered us with his very armor. Let us pray. O Lord, God of strength, bring to naught the counsels of your enemies and frustrate their wicked designs. Turn the hearts of our enemies that they may cease their hatred against us and create in us peaceable hearts that don't cherish hate and don't seek revenge, 
but crave peace with all men and that desires to see your kingdom above all else. Deliver us from evil, O God, and keep our hearts and minds fixed on you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And now may you go forth this day in the midst of spiritual struggles and battles, confident that your God watches over you. Go in his peace.